And judgmental? You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. So what are these? Like, maintenance tunnels or something? I prefer to think of them as secret passageways. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. still in charge here, you know? Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. You're in luck, by the way. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no! Oh, wow! Don't laugh. No, no! This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. These gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. A universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Almost finished. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. More crawling, yay. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Ah! Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Lee Waite doesn't mean lying to my officers. 
or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't this, like, against galactic law or something? I think your mom might be on to you. I don't know what you're talking about. On to you about what? I don't know. I'm stuck in an elevator with crazy people. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. And... No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nick, collect gold. Empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I'm not. You are. Last chance. You stole a passkey? I didn't steal it! I made it. Points for ingenuity. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Ma! I can make it 30 cycles. day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently.
12-year-old daughter who you didn't have during the war. 12 years ago when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on, when have I ever... You won't regret it! I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha, we won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did, 8,000 units is a small price 8, to- 8,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter a and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Sweet tracks. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you- So are you- You cannot hide behind this door forever! Drax, let it go! Nobody's stashing units! We shall see! Thanks for telling him. So... 
You here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh, can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Give me a tick. I'll be right there. It's all yours. Oof, got a crick in my back because of that. There, all set. Anything else? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it. You like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached. Cause I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. 
But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek to best the I infamous mean, At least I got an idea. I am good. I He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, 
Are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Eh, looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know... Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check! Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinism? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learn to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. 
Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... Good. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Hey, Groot, you think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? I'm Groot. Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax. I am endeavoring. They say that Seknarf 9 is. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So, how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there! Never seen anything like it! Meteorological suicide is what it is! Ouch! Hey, is my jacket alright? At least you got a jacket! Some of us are soaking here! Less whining, more walking! Hey, Stormlord! We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed. Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen! <laughs> Drax! The war is on our side. Now, just try to accept it. What do you mean for now? I'm saying you have a reputation in Gamora. Drax is clearly a little crazy, so. What? Interesting tactic, Quill. Hey, the more we argue, the quicker this will go. Admit it, you almost forgot about the storm. No. Nope. Lady 8 is so powerful. Why does she live on this scut? Technoc 9 is her ancestral home. Concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. Where you're from ain't what matters, Meathead. It matters to Lady Hellbender. Behold! Lady Hellbender's domain! In all its glory! <laughs> that was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this! Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, you weren't lived! 
If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. Yo, Quill! Fortress is this way! Of course he knows we're on the clock. Three cycles! It's called scouting, okay? No, it's all going the wrong way! Are you disoriented, Peter Quill? I'll have you know my sense of direction is impeccable. Says the guy who landed on the wrong side of the planet! Whoa! I ever mention how much I hate being wasted? Many times! should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. Be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready. around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Food. These sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Anyone else hear something? Hear what? Drax, you can pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. What 
What's a resistance ship doing all the way out here anyway? It is doing nothing. It is clearly crashed. Great. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. I hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark! That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done! Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Ooh, mysterious. Found something well. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Hidden bodies. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, Mystery Goo. No, I'm trying to stay ready. Monster eggs, yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... I took care of it. Fun stunt! I knew I should have come down. So where are you? Cave with X! Where are you? You're checking things out! It's way bigger than I thought! 
Nice hidden passage! Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? Stop worrying! I ain't far, Quill! Scream really loud if you find another blob creature! You know I will! Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Where's Brew? I told him to wait up there. You may need to get between the other two. You done exploring, Quill? Because, uh, I really need to talk to you. You got a real knack for sniffing out smelly caves, Quill. There's something, um, personal I need to get off my chest. All right, man, what's up? Look, there's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I think I'm dying, Quill. Even with all these frickin' augmentations, and shut knows what else I, I just... I need to know that you'll take care of Groot for me. I, uh... I had no idea, man. Does Groot know? No. No, no, no. And, uh, you can't tell him. It'll destroy him. If the day comes that I... Just promise me you'll take care of Groot. I promise. And, uh... Are you... In that, uh... Are you messing with me? <laughs> um, you know, say you'll bury me... <laughs> in the... In the Milano! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't believe your face. <laughs> it was like, I, I can't even describe your freaking face. Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way. Sure. That is precisely why it's majestic. <laughs> this is further proof that we are not going. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go in. Good point. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. You're up, Gamora. Once I had to defend an ambassador from the Nightmare Realm, it shifted depending on who was speaking. Into what? It became your worst fears all tangled up together into one creature. What did yours look like? Nice try. Yeah! Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. I don't know. Rocket, can you take care of those branches? Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. This jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress.
where he'd go. Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all aliens. I know they're all aliens. I mean, this one's freaky. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! No! He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's ah! okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of dogs! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. Blocks. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and flock holes. At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it, come on, man. Cram it, dashed face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again. Hear that? Boys oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! Watch the stingers! I'm watching the big fork and fangs, fangs! as well. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. Maybe they weren't carried. Maybe some muscle head threw them over the ravine against their will. <laughs> Lady Hellbender could no doubt Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Are you flarking? Surprise, surprise. Another statue. Better than down All right, it. Mora, I ain't this some way. build 50 units as it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I... It was an no efficient way solution. Are we Our leader agreed. Like yeah, don't remind me. 
Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. I am Groot. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Nova Bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Here. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. He does it. Uh, Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. <sighs> I got it. Alright, guys, anyone know what that is? 